Billy Counterman of Colorado sent hundreds of Facebook messages to a local singer and musician. She never responded and she tried to block Counterman, but each time Counterman would create a new Facebook account and resume contacting her. Several of Counterman's messages described violent harm befalling the singer. The singer was afraid and these messages caused her to cancel some performances and to decline social engagements. The singer eventually contacted law enforcement and the state charged Counterman under a Colorado statute that made it a crime to repeatedly make any form of communication with another person in a manner that would cause a reasonable person to suffer emotional distress and does cause that person to suffer serious emotional distress. Counterman moved to dismiss the charges on First Amendment grounds, arguing that his messages were not true threats and therefore could not form the basis of a criminal prosecution. Colorado courts rejected Counterman's arguments, but the U.S. Supreme Court in 2023 had some other ideas. This video will discuss the standard set forth for true threat prosecutions after Counterman versus Colorado. I'm Steve Serbalik, and I'm a panel attorney for ASCOPS in Arizona. First, it's important to understand what true threats are as defined by the law. And the easiest way to understand that is to provide the contrast in what true threats are not. If I say I'm gonna kill my brother for being late to lunch, that's not a true threat. True threats are defined as serious expressions conveying that a speaker means to commit an act of unlawful violence. In other words, the speaker needs to mean it. The Supreme Court in Counterman took a look at the level of culpability needed to determine if true threats are, well, true enough and the court decided on a recklessness standard. In order for a true threat prosecution to survive First Amendment scrutiny, the state must show that a person consciously disregarded a substantial and unjustifiable risk that his conduct will cause harm to another. So a jury would need to find not only that the singer in this case believed she was threatened, the jury would also need to find that Counterman was reckless in his posting, such that he disregarded a substantial risk that the comments would cause the singer harm. The Supreme Court therefore remanded the case to Colorado, where Counterman will either face a new trial or be released early from his over four year prison sentence. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Please don't forget to like, follow, and turn on notifications. It really helps the channel grow. Be on the lookout for new videos. They come out every Sunday at 5.30 p.m. Arizona time. I'm Steve Serbalik. Thanks for watching and stay safe out there.